I said, how many bags? Excuse me, sir. I want to check on the computer. He checked. Then he said, you can talk. I said, I'm waiting for you to finish. Look at my eyes before I talk. She can't. She can't look at my eyes. When the glory of God is upon you, anybody in the office, it can be your boss, but he can't look at you eyeball to eyeball. If the person cannot look at you and smile, there is something that you had that fight what he has. Right, listen, when you become born again, how do I know this? I didn't know it from the Bible. I know it from witchcrafts and sorcerers and divinators. If somebody is a witch by you, ask him or her, he will tell you. When you become born again, God put a mark on your forehead. The foundation of the Lord stands there, so having a seal. The Lord knows them that are here. So I've given the scripture. They have a seal in their head. Now, that is why when you are sitting in a bus and the back is marked for accident, the moment you sit in and the witches see that seal, they must let the car go. Particularly if you know who you are in Christ. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? Now, if you meet somebody who practices, who is satanic agent, he either is a witch, a wizard, or he practices any spiritism, anything that magnifies the devil. When they see the sea, especially if you are a fasting Christian and a prayerful Christian, oh, I just said something. <laughs> I just said something very powerful. If you are a prayerful Christian, they find it difficult to watch it. Because the more you pray, the more the thing shines. It deems up when your prayer life is coming down. It doesn't take your name out of the book of life. You are still a child of God. But a science up depends on your closeness to God. Yeah. So the closer you are to God, the more glory comes upon your life. Is somebody hearing what I'm talking about? That is why you cannot take fasting and prayer for granted. That is why you cannot take fasting and prayer for granted. I want to ask you the next question. What did Daniel do to go to the lion's den? So a time is coming, people will hate you for praying. I told my wife, I say, yeah. <laughs> if anybody will hate me, it's only around the gospel. You can never get me anywhere outside the gospel. I will never do anything that fall into your trap. No, I know the word and the spirit of God. So the only way you can hate me is, it, it's, 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 it's around what I do for God. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Now, you have to come to the place that people hate you for Christ. Not for your carnal desires. Amen. Amen. I'm allergic to bad clapping. <laughs> Prayer. <laughs> huh? Somebody started praying in the country and they want to change the constitution. You didn't read it in the Bible. Daniel was praying and the people went and changed the constitution. But the Lord of the Midas and the Cummins are from today. No, but Daniel chapter 6 verse 11. Give it to me. Let me show you something. Give me Daniel chapter 6 verse 11. If you are there. Somebody say prayer. Prayer. Uh, if you pray, you get enemies. <laughs> We're prayer center. We bought a property and paid for it. Because of prayer, enviness and jealousy. I told God sometimes, oh, can't you defend yourself? Even if God cannot defend you, God will defend you. You are going to thank God after today for receiving everything the devil has stolen back from you. Anything the devil has stolen, including your child property, you are going to thank God that it is back. God can defend himself. Are you listening to what I'm talking about? Now, what it is? Then this man assembly and found Daniel doing what? And making what? Before who? They've changed the constitution. After they changed the constitution, the man they didn't stop praying. Do you stop praying because you have gone through trouble? I said, do you stop praying because you are going through a hala? No. <sighs> Some of you, your prayer life comes down when God is trying your faith. Every step of faith must be tested. I said, every step of faith must be tested. No. The greater the unseen, the greater the test. Mm. The test you are going through now determines what God is going to use you to do in future. What are you talking about? Number two, every test you are going through is an advantage for God's name to be glorified. So don't sit down and run away from the trouble. Now, number three, let me tell you this. God will never give you a temptation that is bigger than you. Everything trial God brings to you, he has already built something in you that can stand the trial. So no temptation has overtaken you. That is common to man. But with every temptation, God will make a way of escape.
and making supplication before his God. Go to verse number 12. <laughs> Then they came near and spat before the king concerning the king's decree. Constitution now changing. You know, the king concerning uh, uh, the king concerning the king's decree. Has thou not signed a decree that every man that shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days, save of thee, O king, shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, "The thing is true." According to the laws of the Midas and the Persians, once the laws come under this particular thing, it's like, it's like NDC and MPP. The Midas and the Persians are like parliamentary members. That has approved a law. Once it's passed in parliament, you can't change it. Not even the president can change it. So this thing has been signed by the, according to the law of the Midas and the Persians, which altered not. It means that it cannot be reversed. Go to the next verse. <laughs> then answered there, then answer there and said the king, that's Daniel. That is a very strong word. That Daniel. It means that Daniel has now fallen into their trap. They set the trap for Daniel and Daniel has fallen into it. <laughs> so what you are going through is a trap they set and you have come into it. But they've forgotten that you have a God behind you. <laughs> God is about to show off in your life and show something to people. I say God is about to show off around your life. Some of them will take you to God. They will know that you serve a living God. Some of them will have the opportunity to testify of the things that God will come after them. Jesus Christ. When the labor was his way to go and kill Joseph, Jacob, covenant child, God met him at midnight and God said, don't speak anything good or bad. The guy doesn't need your encouragement or attack. He said, I'm warning you and I can feel the angel talking with sword in the guy's throat. Jacob, this is labor story. He said, the God of your father sent his angel and stood by me say it is in the power of my hand to do you harm so that is in the mind that is why when you come to church nobody must nobody must encourage you to worship you can't deny God worship because your husband didn't treat you well you can't deny God worship because your boss hates you oh let me turn to this crisis and tell them you can't deny God worship because your fiance left you Sit in church, depress, oppress, oppress, compress, down press, and sit in with all your press. Why? <laughs> We're worshiping the Lord. When you see people cry, then you lift your account. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> then the devil will whisper back. Remember the text message. They take it and read it back. I'm sorry to tell you that the relationship cannot continue. Oh, God. Let me tell you this testimony. I preached a message many years ago. I don't know whether it's been in power or somewhere. I preached a message. I was talking about faith. And I told them that <laughs> whatever they do against you, you have to remember that your God is alive. Mm. And I said in the message that you may not know who tomorrow holds. You have to know who holds tomorrow. Mm. So the girl went to the office and the boss wanted to sleep with her. And one day he actually spat on the boss. And told him that. And told the boss that. Listen. I now understand your trouble. Because the, boy, the boss touched some, some place he's not supposed to touch. And the girl... He was trying to slap the ball, but the ball was fast. And then he spat on her and commanded her in the name of Jesus that don't even try it next time. Next time it will, it will be a spat. I will tell you what it will be. So the next time he came to the office, he got a letter. The boss said, you are fired. The moment he received the letter, he started dancing in the boss office. I have a God. When he was dancing and shouting, then the general or kakatakata of the company was passing and had a dancing and the singing. The CEO also came and said, what is going on here? Why, why are you dancing in your boss office? He said, I'm fired. He said, and, and you are dancing? He said, yes. He said, so why are you dancing? You don't like the company? I said, no. I just want my boss to know that my God is alive. Amen. The CEO also said, come to my office. He came and said, that, what make you dance? And he started quoting scriptures. Already a note has come that that man has issued some checks he's not supposed to issue. So that case was going to be told. He got fires and the CEO put that girl in her place. <laughs> now listen. The CEO should have passed without hearing any sound. If the girl got it and... <laughs> because I didn't allow you to kiss me. The girl said, Misha, Nia, wa, yeah. oh, And it was right enough. Paul and Silas was in prison. They sang and the prisoners had them. May you sing for them to hear you. Don't
don't go out of this church depressed and oppressed. Let everything that I breath praise in the name of the Lord. Stop those nonsense. Stop those depression. What is it? Whatever you are going through, somebody is going through worse. Yeah, I come to church depressed. Why? My fiancé left me. That foolish boy that is going to be to in future, God has de- delivered you from that foolish boy's hand. <laughs> One of our daughters here that courted and waited for a guy for seven years to marry her. One day another anointing, I told her, I said, get her somebody to marry you. Then I gave her two reasons. I said, listen, when a man is courted with a woman, the, the, the intensity of the love is very strong. Particularly if you are doing it in holiness and purity. You cannot wait for the day they declare you husband and wife. Whoever is talking at the reception is wasting time. Because you know your target. Now, if a man at the time of gossip is trying to behave in a way and not pushing, you are going to have a problem in the future. Because if a man's love for you in gossip is coming down, then it will vanish in marriage time. So I told the girl, marry Get somebody to marry you. Fortunately for him, immediately he does that. He called his parents and said, go and give them the drink. I've waited for seven years. Waited for seven years. And then they went. After three months, somebody met him at the owner. He has about two children now. And they married. Very nice case. He was working in a bank one day. He was there. He heard somebody wearing a uh, two. I can see a two. Year rank and came there. And wearing some bitches, I said, yeah, man, I'm looking for Cynthia, man. And they're walking there, they, they call, so they, they, they call the guy and say, uh, Cynthia, Bogan uh, Kono. So he looked at him and said, who is that? Me, I don't know. Who is that? He said, he's looking for me. I said, no, 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 he's looking for me. Oh, tell him, my. so when he came there, it was the guy that he was waiting for. He said, daddy, when I saw the guy, I literally say, Lord, thank God for Prophet Nana's life. I told her, I said, you should have taken a picture and come and show me. She said, do you even want to watch it? With Trinity and the Rasta Fiebi Wasi. And the Arrow and the Niger Rasta Island. Another island Rasta here. With a chain and the year ring. This one, this year has one, two, three. And he said, the one year has a long one like the woman's own. Having a a big necklace or something chains or whatever around his waist. He says, and come in and they dress, you know. At Adeno said, no. Ye two back where Gusuni has said, and ye Gusuni has been pinned in the day of Nobana. Hey, man, I came to marry you. I came all the way from the United States to come and marry you. And they came, he came and said, seven years. He was waiting for Bogankono. Keep waiting. <laughs> Instead of catching one of these guys to marry you, I want to come back a little bit. I preach in London. Somebody who has divorced his wife with a divorce letter sat in church crying, ran home. They've lived for eight years in a room separate to nobody talks. When the word was working on the man, it was working on the wife at home. The wife was sitting at the entrance waiting. He grabbed the guy, brought him back to Dr. Peje and said, put us together. We want to marry again. Ah. Now watch this. Watch this. Preaching, just preaching. He sent his word. Cannot deny the way. That is why, even when I'm tired, I preach. Yes, I'm going to preach for the next five days or so. Anoint people, deliver people, be delivered. Now, watch this. From tomorrow, something will happen here. I said, something will happen. <laughs> you see, the guy who was printing my book, The Benefit of Fasting, yesterday he came at home. Because he and Nana was there, Nana was there. He started going through the book and he fasted for 10 days. Just trying to read the book. He finished and he said, no, no, you were there. You were there. He said, 10 days I was in waiting. He said, something from the book penetrated me. I've never done it. <laughs> now, if you are not, a, and I told them, I said, if you don't fast and you write it, it might not have impact on people. Practical. Your faith is important until you back it with fasting. Because listen, do you know what fasting does? Let me show you this. When you see the fire and you see the king's decree, 
and they hit the fire seven times and you still want to go into the fire there should be something in the inside on your tenacity they are led to say that my God is able to deliver me but in case he decide not to do it I will still not bow if you don't have that inner strength when you get close to the fire you will deny God and bow down to the idol So it's not that you don't have faith, you have faith. But the tenacity to stand the faith is not there. It takes another spirit for you to decide to go to the lion's day. And then you are waiting for them to cast you into a lion that has not been fed for one week. For one month and you are thrown into the lion's day. By the sound of the lions, you can change your mind and say, I said it, but I'm a boy. But when the spirit of faith is in the inside of you, I say the spirit of what? Faith. We have the word of faith. We have the gift of faith and we have the spirit of faith. The word of faith is taught, so I teach you the word of faith. The gift of faith is something God gives you, but the spirit of faith is impacted. And today, may you be impacted with the spirit of faith. Another way for the spirit of faith is that it is very infectious. So you work with somebody with the spirit of faith and naturally it enters you. <laughs> so, when the guy took the book and started reading it, huh? The spirit of fasting entered him. Something jumped from the book and entered him. And immediately he went on 10 days dry fasting. Because something he has read has impacted his life. When light comes, weakness leaves. I'm preaching good, don't stop me. It meant that light penetrates into your heart. Whatever is contending with the light leaves. <laughs> I was waiting for Friday, but I said, I will launch this book here. I'm going to just, I'm just give, me, give me about some few. Where is it? Where's the book? You are looking at my face and smiling. Huh? Mm -hmm. They forced me to launch it in Britain, but I didn't do it. Because Britain for now, I'm not coming to call. No, not everybody can write a book on fasting. Are you listening?